Hey, welcome back to A Better Life. I'm Dr. Fry, and of course, we've had an interesting show so far. We've talked about insurance. We've talked about some other things that were very interesting. But now we're going to talk about something that we seem to be coming back to all the time here in Louisiana, and that's home repair after flooding and just home repairs in general, uh, maybe even some new construction. But, you know, finding somebody that's qualified and most importantly, somebody who's trustworthy, it's one of the things here at WLFT we really try and strive and find. And we invite very few people to come on, talk about this subject because so many of you have been ripped off. So we want to be sure the people we put on here are reputable and are doing a good job. And we want to send them a little bit of endorsement and give them a chance to tell their story. So that brings <coughs> us to tonight's guest. Mark Porsche is joining us and he is with PHI Group a contractor's group that does construction and things of that nature. Mark, welcome to the show. Thank you, Dr. Fry. Good to be here. Good to see you. Uh, I understand your firm has done its share of flood recovery and flood repair. How many homes have you actually touched? Uh, we've probably put 40 people back into their homes. That's a bunch. That's a lot. How big a company are you? I mean, how many crews do you have? Or, uh, well, I can man any job, but I try to limit it down to just a select few of people mm -hmm. with uh, with more uh, with multiple trades. That way, we can we can keep costs down. Uh, we can still um, have a job done 30, 45 days. Uh, so uh, you know, and that's been working for us. Just a just small group. We have four, um, four to six. Are you finding folks. it harder to to keep employees with so much construction going on? I've uh, I've had to let go of few people. Um, they want to come and work part time and work on other jobs that they found sure. themselves, and and that's okay. You know, if they find things on their own. I respect that. Can't but, slide uh, a guy for being an entrepreneur. Uh, absolutely, you. absolutely. I encourage it actually, yeah. but I have uh, I do have a dedicated team that uh, you know they they got my back. I got their back, and you know uh, we've. Uh, we're very trustworthy. We can walk in any home, gain the trust of the people that we're working for, and uh, and go from there. What are we seeing now in this phase of it? Are, are we basically still have homes that haven't been touched, or there are, are there are a few, but I've been receiving a lot of phone calls um, from people who has been burnt, if you will, <laughs> by contractors. You know, I mean, uh, just uh, it, it, it just blows my mind uh, uh, that there are so many people that has been damaged by these guys. So I've been going in doing a lot of rework, a lot of, you know, redoing things, having to tear down things, sure. put them back together. Uh, you know, uh, probably 20 houses so far in the past three months. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of shoddy work has been done and people are, a whole are lot. now seeing, you know, as the, the house sits there and it's used for few weeks everything starts they start show. recognizing things seeing sure. things you know uh, bad drywall uh, just your bad flooring everything you name it Sh um, shower leaks now, are you guys primarily staying with the concept of doing just repairs are you doing new home construction what uh, what, do you, what are you looking at we've been invited to do um, quite a few uh, new homes but right now I, I, I think my focus is to to try to help people get back into their homes. You know, if I can slide away to do a new house, um, then I'll do that. But right now, I mean, there's just so many of us still out down sure. here suffering. I, I, I think I would rather stick with that for now because what, there's still some 30,000 houses. What's the number one thing that you uh, would recommend to people that are sitting there with a piece of property that has uh, needs to, was flood damage that they haven't been able to touch? They've got the insurance money. They're just... Um, now they're finding out about you that you possibly could help them because you you might be able to get to them because that's waiting list is the number one problem in absolutely town. absolutely so what what's the first thing that you think that they should ask a contractor when they come in for his license for his insurance for references um, I think that would be the way to go with the teaching certificate I got from the last guest work? No, it won't. No, no, not with me, no, no. no just no, wanted no. to know. <laughs> <laughs> this license, what does it look like? I mean, if the person goes, there, I got my license, I mean, what does it look like? What do, what do people ask for? All you need is the name of that uh, person's company. You don't even have to know the license number. You can call or Google the LSLBC, the Louisiana State Board uh, of Contractors, Okay. And, uh, and right there, there's information for the consumer. You know, you can put in that person's uh, uh, Company uh, company's name. name right. and you search the directory, and it'll pop up if it's a legal entity. Right. Uh, and it'll give you their number. I got you. Let me see. That, so that pretty well tell you right there. Yeah, that wraps yeah. it up. 
So what are you looking for personally, other than you know people that may need their home uh, employee-wise? Are you looking for anybody? We could somebody out there as an expert plumber and looking for a gig, or uh, I'm always looking for someone that's that's dedicated, mm -hmm. uh, someone that wouldn't mind coming on board. Um, um, I'm always looking for good drywall people, painters. Uh, even carpenters, and I'm, I'm a fifth generation carpenter. I do a lot of my own work. I'm, I don't ride around like this all day. Mm. I wear work clothes, and I, I actually get down in the dirt with my guys. So, uh, 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 but I'm always looking for a, a really good carpenter. Well, a guy can swing your hammer. It doesn't necessarily make him good. <laughs> yeah, this, this is true. This is true. This is true. So, <laughs> what is the? Uh, th there's the contact information to get hold of Mark and. Uh, and uh, phicontractors.com is their website and uh, your telephone number there that's a local number 250-5140 yes sir that is my office and uh, pardon me but this is my email address uh -huh. my, my website it's uh, phicontractorsllc.com llc add the llc yes. all right if you missed it you uh, of course can contact us here at the station and we'll be glad to uh, to give you fair but we still got just a little bit of time. We'll ask you about uh, in in home repairs. Mm -hmm. Does the old adage was is if you got a good roof, is the place to start and then go from there. With the flood coming, the roof really wasn't affected. What is the number one thing that people need to look at at their house that needs to get fixed first? You need to make sure that you don't have any mold growth. So that would that would consist of removing all of the drywall all of your insulation, the drying process. Look at some of the pictures here real quick. If we, you've got some uh, brought in pictures, I meant to show some of these. These are different places. You can just kind of flip through these a couple seconds each and we'll look at them here. This is a, a floor, of course, with, this was flood this, damage this is that we correct. looked at. This was and, and, uh, and there's the kitchen floors that were uh, kitchen damage. Well, I tell you, that's a mess, isn't it? Yeah, that's my old office. Now, right there, we're looking at drywall. You're talking about that needs to completely come out. That needs to come out. Uh, so cut uh, the wall, take everything out, and just the studs, and let it dry for how long? Um, I would let it dry for at least 30 days. We'll get some industrial fans and, and place them strategically around the house to make sure that it's, you know, it, that everything's getting penetrated by good air to dry it out. We're out of time, but I'm going to have you back in because uh, you brought a lot more pictures. You'll bring me some more and uh, we'll have you back on uh, in another a few 50. months. How's yeah. that? That Is sounds that great. Nice meeting you. Dr. Fry, thank you. All right, folks, that's it for this week. I want you to, to join us every week. We have new fresh guests right here on A Better Life. And remember, till next time, have a better life through Jesus Christ. Amen.